Hi there, I'm Peter Russell from supertax.ca. Welcome to another one of my video blogs. Today's topic is on the top marginal tax rates for eligible dividends here in Canada. This is a brief and general understanding. Eligible dividends are essentially dividends paid to a shareholder from a company which is subject to general business rates. If that company is a resident of Ontario, the combined federal and provincial tax rate for 2011 generally is 28%. Examples of such corporations are public companies such as Rogers Communication or the Royal Bank. Now, currently the top marginal tax rates for eligible dividends for residents of Ontario in Canada is 28.19%. This is a lot lower than the top marginal tax rate for regular income, which is 46.41%. The reason being is that these dividends have already been taxed in the corporation once. Canada doesn't want the individual taxpayer to be taxed on the same income twice. So they came up with the concept of in integration. The general main idea is that regardless of where you got your compensation, either in a form of a dividend or salary, the total tax paid shouldn't be more than the top marginal tax rate, which in Ontario is 46.41% for regular income. Now, when you receive the dividend personally from the corporation, the eligible dividend from a corporation, say, for example, you receive the dividend from the Royal Bank, you would receive an eligible dividend and you would, it would be grossed up to, for, by 1.41%. This represents the pre-tax value of that dividend in that corporation. You'd also receive a federal and a provincial dividend tax credit. For 2011, the federal dividend tax credit is 16.44% and the Ontario dividend tax credit is 6.4%. This represents the corporate tax that's already been paid on this dividend in the corporation. Now I've done an example on my big board to how, to, how we break down and come up with the top marginal tax rates for eligible dividends. So let's go to the big board. All right, 2011 eligible dividends. So I've mentioned that the top rate, marginal tax rate is 28.19%. So let's assume that the dividend that was paid from the corporation was $71. Well, $71 grossed up by 1.41% is equal to $100, just to make our example easy. So we're gonna be, you would receive a T5 on which the taxable dividend would say $100. Now let's calculate the federal tax. 29% less the dividend tax credit, 16.44, is 12.56. That's A. Let's calculate the Ontario tax. The top marginal tax rate in Ontario is 11.16%, less the Ontario dividend tax credit of 6.40, gives us B, which is 4.76%. Now we've got some Ontario surtax to calculate. Ontario surtax has two surtaxes, 20% and 36%. They generally kick in once your income is over $66,514 in Ontario for 2011. So we go ahead, we calculate our Ontario surtax, 11.16% less the di Ontario dividend tax credit, 6.40 equals 4.76%. Then we multiply that by 0.56 which is 20% plus 36% equals 56%. So 4.76 times 0.56 is 2.67. Okay, we've got to add up A, B, and C. Well, sorry, my C is missing, but C is really the 2.67%. That equals 19.99%. We now, now we've got to multiply that back by 1.41. The reason being is because we only received $71. We didn't receive $100. So we've got to gross up our calculation here. So 19.99 times 1.41 is equal to 28.19%. The same number that I showed you above. That is the top marginal tax rate for eligible dividends if you're a resident of Ontario in Canada for 2011. Okay. All right, I hope you found this video informative on eligible dividends here in Canada. If you have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to leave them below or you can send me an email at peter at supertax.ca. Thank you very much. Take care.